Good morning. Today is April the 23rd, Thursday, and this is your daily check-in. Our scripture is from John chapter 4, verses 23 and 24, and it talks about the Spirit of God and worship and how we should worship. A time is coming and has now indeed come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in the Spirit and in truth, for they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. God is spirit, and his worshipers must worship in the spirit and in truth. You know, one of the reasons that we like coming together to worship is because we love being around people who are like-minded. It seems right to sing God's praises, to pray for each other, to, to hear a message, and to go out with a foundation. It's almost like we're working in concert on the same team with other people accomplishing God's mission on this earth, which is indeed to bring a little bit of God's kingdom here to our reality, as well as winning people to Christ. So, question for you this morning, what does your worship, your life of worship look like? God says we're supposed to, Jesus says, we're supposed to worship in spirit and in truth. And there is supposed to be a connection between our spirit and God. You know, there are different elements to worship. I mentioned a few of them just now. There is prayer. There's singing. There's reading the word or hearing a word. Uh, there's an opportunity to give back. Those are all elements of worship. And we need to incorporate those elements of worship into our everyday lives. Uh, for instance, how are you at singing when you're by yourself or when you're around your family? I know my family gets a big kick when people sing, and we usually sing praise songs around here, or Christian songs, or ACDC, but don't tell anybody. Uh, you need to sing, and it's true when we sing and when we listen to music, our hearts are affected in a different way than when we pray and then when we hear the word. Uh, you know, we're supposed to pray as an act of worship to God every day. We're supposed to read the Bible or get a little bit of a message uh, from the scriptures. And lastly, we're supposed to do something for God. We're supposed to give something back to God in reference to our gratefulness for God's sacrifice and God's great plan and God's creation, God's amazingness in creation. So question, if you don't feel close to God, what elements of worship are you doing in your daily life? Are you singing? Are you praying? Are you reading scripture? Are you doing something for somebody else to the glory of God? Think about it and let's make it happen. Let's worship God in spirit and in truth. Let's bow our heads. Gracious God, thank you so much for my brothers and sisters who are listening today. Lord, you call us to worship in spirit and in truth, and I pray that our spirits would be connected with your heart, O oh God. Lord, may we worship with singing, may we worship with prayer, may we worship with scripture reading, and may we, Lord, to your glory, help somebody else or give back. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.